A toy car racing track has the same principles of an electric circuit. You close and open the flow of an electric current. This is how electric circuits and its components work in plain English. Let's say that these wires are the track. The battery is the energy source, the light bulb is the car, and the switch is the remote. First off, an electric circuit is a path through which electric charges flow. The main components of an electric circuit are the wires. The wires are the object that allow electricity to flow through. The switch. The switch is the object that cuts the flow of electricity. Energy source. The energy source is where the electricity inside the circuit comes from. Resistor. The resistor is the object that utilizes the electricity. For electric charges to flow properly, you need insulators and conductors. The rubber on the outside of the wire is an insulator, making sure electricity doesn't get out or affect other cables. The conductor is what is inside the wire where the electricity flows. Conductors and insulators work well together. Yay! If the switch is on, it joins the circuit, which creates a closed circuit and allows electricity from the battery to flow to the light bulb in the circuit and turn it on. If the switch is off, it will break the circuit and make an open circuit. Cutting the flow of electricity will turn the light bulb off. Circuits always need to be complete or closed. Sometimes, electric circuits need a much higher electric current to make it work, such as hair dryers. The lower the speed of the electric current is, for example, using an A battery, the less the heating coils in the hair dryer heat up, and also the fan will spin slower. The higher the electric current is, for example, using a car battery, the more the heating coils will heat up and the fan will spin faster. The way the electricity flows through the wires in scientific term, it's called resistance. The less resistance, the more freely electricity flows. The wires have to be wide and short to have less resistance. Wires that are long and narrow have more resistance, which makes the electricity flow with difficulty. Let's recap. The essentials in a circuit are the wires, the switch, the energy source, and the resistor. Circuits have to be closed, connected in a loop to function properly. Switches open the circuit on purpose, so there is no electricity flowing through. The circuit has to be made in conductive material, for example, copper, and never use things like wood to connect a circuit. Objects needing higher electric current flowing through must have their needed amount of electric current to work properly. The wider and shorter wires, the less resistance they will have and eventually let more electricity go through. This was How an Electric Circuits and Its Components Work in Plain English by Matteo and Coy.